promise on everything that is holy if this game has any more problems. I don't I don't know where I'm going with that. I'll just I'll play it offline. Clearing up after a light rain fell most of the afternoon. The weather's approaching 49 degrees, so we've got a brisk West Virginia evening ahead of us. Wrap up tight and settle in, folks. I don't know what what meds those are, but past due, fatal car crash. Off to a great start. Hillcrest. My main character's kind of cute. Not gonna lie. Change my clothes and wash my. What do you like? 30, 35? Very nice. Let me breathe and I'll let you go. You're gonna be at the wake, right? The Allen Wake? Run them down in desperation. I've felt around for something real. There's a radio station. Playing wrong in my ears. I already like the vibe of this. Very depressing. So we're I don't know my character's name. I probably should have looked at the the what this game is actually about. I just saw a choice based game and I knew I had to get it, so now I'm playing it. Probably should have done more research. But look at us. We look pretty cool. Time to kill before the funeral. Might as well spend it here. Oh, oh, that sensitivity. Can I mess with that? It's a little better. This place was always one for decisions. Somewhere for things to fall apart. Brooding. The company made sure we knew how generous they were. Oh. Welcome back to Basswood, Sam. Sam. This does have a very Life is Strange feel to it. I know it's made by the same people. Those inner monologues, those I inner thoughts. I came up here every chance I could. One of the all-time great views. Really makes a small town look big. It does seem a lot prettier. I think they put a lot more, more care into this. Uh, cemetery? I'm not sure Nick would even want me at his funeral, given how I left things. Nick, your brother? Strange to think of Basswood without its mine. Basswood? My hometown. It felt more imposing in my nightmares. Hmm. I remember spending entire summers on the banks fishing with Nick. Yes, lovely. Who's who's littering or what's graffitiing? Terrible. Warning sign. You'd think the massive cliff face would be a giveaway. Well, I mean, some people are clumsy, you know, like me. Bear country keeps hikers and hunters safe from bears. I left a sandwich in it for a whole week once. Dad never let me forget it. I left a sandwich oh, in oh. it for a whole week once. Dad never let me forget it. And now I won't either, because you said it twice. Wildlife? These trails were great to walk if you wanted to feel truly alone. 
alone with the mountain lions no thank you when hunting carry with you any and all required permits and licenses do not hunt while under the influence of alcohol hunting is forbidden between half an hour after sunset and half an hour before sunrise let's let's not hunt at all a lot of people were upset when it closed but not upset enough to fix it so you can hunt here and hike here i don't know about all that i feel like that won't be safe i used to love looking at basswood from up here help give me perspective what are until that day what day what are we doing up here Excuse me? Why can't the real world be as clear and peaceful as my own mind? What is this? Is this heavy rain? You got those Norman Jaden glasses. Even if it does mean nothing stays hidden in here. Not even me. What's going on? What's happening? Am I crazy? I'm gonna just roll with it. Oh. Hello? I, uh... I've been meaning to ask you something. Don't freak out. Yes. You'd be my little girl's godfather. I wouldn't trust anyone else with this. And yet I stopped taking his calls. He even called once the day before he died. I'll never know what he wanted to talk to me about. Oh, that must be Nick. This is Anna. She works freelance. There's a lot Hi. of the human interest pieces. What can I say? I'm interested in humans and their pieces. <laughs> okay. What do you like to write? I gotta run to a review with Walt. You two feel free to chit chat. And Sam, be nice. Am I a writer? I had never met someone so interested in others, even in me. Really? You're a good looking guy, Sam. Am I a writer? Because I can't do another Alan Wake. The story is important. You know I think that. It's just... People around here have short tempers and long memories. Be careful. Sam, are you even listening to me? I heard you, Anna. But no. I wasn't listening. Oh, this is so pretty. There's one right there. Guy, you are so pretty. I'm a little intimidated. Come on, Anna. Look at this. <laughs> what is it? Someone skinny dipping? Anna, you really need to see this. Aww. I can't even see. Something's blocking it. Sam. Smooth. What are you doing? I'm trying to be romantic. What? Wait. Please don't tell me you're proposing. Oh, no. I'm down on one knee. A ring. What else would I be doing? She's not into it. You look like I just ran over your grandma. The silence is really starting to scare me now. Anna, please say something. Sam, put that away. Come on. I don't want a ring. I don't need a ring. Uh-oh. They should have talked about this. You should know that. We've discussed it before.
that he didn't listen. Oh gosh, my cat. We weren't happy. She was the one brave enough to face that. Lost in my head again. How much time did I miss? Oh, you're a chronic daydreamer. You're really not gonna show? Lots of sad faces. Read a new journal entry. Oh, was that not the right thing? Return to the car. People, stats. Ooh, what is this? Anna, the one that got away. Would my whole life be different had she said yes? Seeing her again, that's gonna be hard, yet part of me is looking forward to it. The rest of me wants to turn around and leave now. Oh, we're gonna see her again. Nick? Nick's been my friend since we were kids, my only friend. I ghosted him two years ago when I left Basswood, and now he's ghosting me by being dead. <laughs> okay. Funny sense of humor. I left Basswood two years ago to run away from a job at a small-time newspaper, a town full of angry people and a failed relationship. I didn't glance back. Now I'm going home to attend my best friend's funeral. What could be more fun than facing all your past mistakes at your friend's gravesite, right? Well, I don't envy you. Cold feet, no choice has been made in this scene. Oh, okay. Um, I guess we're going back. I What's missed this? the funeral. Maybe you, it's for the best. You missed On the it. Right side. Nick's not alive for me to let him down again. We missed it by being out here. Oh, Sam. Sam, Sam, Sam. We better go somewhere. Are you still coming, Walter? Sorry, Walter, but I don't think I'll stick around. Sam. Come on now. Given up already? Just a quick depressing jaunt down memory lane and then you're gone? I know you think that the only thing waiting for you down there is hurt. Lots of hurt. And you might be right. But it's been two years. It's time to face the world. Time to adult. Time to adult. The good news though, at least you don't have to do it alone. Am I talking to myself? Who is that? Like, I have a lot to learn with this game. Everything's just hitting me at once. Twin mirror. Good intro. I love it. It's really pretty. Very pretty. Are you still coming? I really hope you can make, make it to the wake. I'll be at the Haven. Nick won't care, I'm almost there. I'm almost there! Come on now. Lost the signal. Something never change. Well, let's just, let's go. We've wasted enough time. You're a new person. You grew out your hair, you got a new jacket. Time to show everyone. Show your ex how good you look. Oh, I got an achievement and it just disappeared like that. I'll never know. Miner's Haven parking lot. child? Joan, Bug, Waldron, Nick's daughter. Can't imagine what she's going through. Oh, that's Bug. Baby. Yuli, you actually came. It's been a while. 
You've gotten taller. Yeah, big old head. I'm sorry. Can we talk? Yes. We're talking right now. It's cold. How you look eight and eighty at the same time? Are you are you in the driver's seat, ma'am? How old are you? So, you left. John, that's not fair. You left. Um, I'm sorry. Look, Joan, I messed up. You said you wouldn't leave. You said... You said... I don't remember exactly, but you pinky swore. Ooh. I didn't mean to lie. I just screwed up. After Anna broke up with me, I'm... I'm sorry. I wish words meant anything. You pinky swore, Sam. I wish this didn't make it harder for you to trust me now. You could have at least called something. Especially after... You know... After my dad. Absolutely. I'm not with him. I don't know what to say to that. You're right. I wasn't in a state where I could reach out to anyone. I'm still not. If Nick hadn't died, I never would have come back. Thanks for being honest. You're always at least honest. Try to be. Listen, I, uh, I wanted to talk to you about what happened to Dad. It doesn't make sense. He wouldn't have just crashed. He drove like a grandma, you know that. It's wrong. I don't buy it. I'm just in town for the funeral, Joan. I'm not a PI or a cop. You're the closest thing I can talk to. I must be a journalist. Look into it, Muley. Please. She wants her father's death to mean something. But who is, is that, that Tyler mean? Oakley? What if it leads to the truth? That could change everything. An hour ago, you wanted to run away. Now you want to start another investigation? A few questions won't hurt anyone. Just tonight. To reassure her. And myself. This is a wake. If you poke around, people may end up poking back. Okay, whatever you do, at least leave the kid out of it. It would be cruel to lead her on. Friends don't lie to each other. Even if it means disappointing her again. Why is Tyler Oakley call? in my ear? Boy, I don't gotta listen to you. This ain't 2016. Okay, I'll see what I can see and all that. Gumshoe it up. You will? Yes, ma'am. You make some good points. It doesn't fit. I hate when things don't fit. Yeah, <laughs> me too. I might just be, I don't know, crazy or something, but... You want to know for sure. I get it. I got you, child. Thanks, Muley. I, um... I should go in before my mom misses me. You better get in there, too. Can't hide in your car all night. Who says I'm hiding out here? I do. See you inside. She's really smiley for a kid whose dad just died. Like, she she's acting like a whole adult when she looks eight, seven. Like, that's a that's a baby. What are we taking those for? Journal updated. Let's have a look. 
Joan? Of all people I hurt when I left Basswood, Joan is the one who least deserved it. She's just a kid and my goddaughter, but it's a tough job to be a lonely kid's only friend. I couldn't hack it. Now that her dad died, things aren't going to get any easier for her. Angry, hurt, stubborn, hard to believe Joan was the one who nicked me, nicknamed me Muley. Not that I'm looking for an excuse. I made a promise to a child that will break her heart whether I keep it or not. What if she is right about her father's death? What will that do to her? And what if I can't give her the answer she's hoping for? Well, it's better to know than to not know. The same town, the same doubts and contradictions. Face it or escape it. This time, I made a different decision. The temptation to embark on another doomed investigation leading to nothing but pain was, strong, was too strong to resist. Am I doing this for Joan, for Nick, or for myself? Well, shouldn't matter. I promised Joan I'd ask some questions about her father. Okay, 83%. Good. Might as well Let's talk to Walter. This. I'll have to sooner or later. Tara's car? Whoever said you can judge someone by their car never met Tara. Hmm. Coal Miner's Haven. Everything has to be a reference to the mine. Yes, the cat food is under the sink. Yes, yes it is, Mother. Trust me. Oh, Samuel is here. I'll call you back. Samuel. Samuel Hicks, as I live and breathe. Has it really been over two years? Regardless, I'm so glad you finally made it. It's good to see you. What kept you? A trip down memory lane. I missed the funeral, but I made it to Nick's wake. You have to bring it in for a hug. It's a basswood back in town requirement. I'm not much of a so good hugger. To see you. Even if I wish the circumstances were different. Uh, In times okay. like these, we need the comforting touch of others. At oh, least I do. don't say it like that. The comforting touch of others. All right, break it up. Also, have you spoken to Anna lately? No, why? Um, no reason. If you get the chance, we should catch up. We should really catch up. Why would I talk to my ex? I'll see you inside. We should have brought a date. Journal updated. Oh my gosh. So many updates. Who are you, sir? Walter. My old boss at the paper. I'd say he taught me everything I know, but given my track record, that wouldn't be much of a compliment. I always thought Walter was a decent sort, the rare breed who truly believes his job is to serve the community. Seeing the old Joker is nicer than I'd expected. Well, good thing we hugged him. What the, what do the stats say? I was happy to share a hug. 11% chose a hug? Why? And why was I a minority there? What happened? Did I miss something? What's this? Paper? Eesh. I haven't read an issue of this paper since I left. I wonder how they've been doing without me. Local legend, honored today. Nick Waldron passed tragic accident. Okay. Must have been a hard issue to write. I guess he worked for the paper too. Journal updated. My god. Nick, you don't often make it to the front page of a newspaper with good news. Not even in Basswood. Car crash. Walter did a good job on the obituary. Alright. Good job, Walter. Here we go. Time to meet and greet. But also look sad while doing it? I don't know. I'm not I'm not good at funerals or wakes. Don't ask me advice. Is that a picture of someone holding a gun? Warning, forget the dog? My gosh. Mr. Samuel Higgs, big shot investigative reporter. That's me. Didn't think you'd ever be back in here. I'd gladly slash your tires. What? Would that mean you couldn't leave town? And Bitch. You are just really embracing those hick stereotypes, huh, Joel? Tell him. Punch him. Gentlemen. 
unnecessary. Good old boys, another round. Mighty kind to you, Declan. Declan. You're not worth it, Higgs. Declan. Like brains already, I see. Declan, been a while. Hey, careful. I'd rather not be working tonight. And you always seem to angry up everyone's blood. What, what did I do? I just got here. I'm here for Nick. I'm only here to pay my respects to Nick. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah. Shame that. You, you got a yourself. mole like right under your eye. I have one too, but it's like a freckle. Pretty cool. Declan. I think it's time I go put up a photo at the memorial board. Oh, hang on. That's what people do, right? You always did know how to start a ruckus. Can't say I missed that. But I didn't even do anything. I just walked through the door. Declan? Declan's the local law enforcement. I vaguely remember him from school. He used to get into fights a lot, usually to protect smaller kids. No one was surprised that he became a cop. Well, that's sweet. All the miners in Basswood lost their job when the mines closed. I should have known they still think it's my fault. Nothing to do with awful working conditions and inhumane management, obviously. Joel Lopez. Okay. Mr. Lopez. That's the guy who got the mine closed. Who's talking about me? Say it to my face. Come here, say it to my face. Hasn't been replaced in decades. You know what? I'm gonna write a journal thing about this too. Get this place shut down too. Sammy. Oh, it's been ages. Tara? Oh, me? I've had this stomach thing lately, always churning. Uh, Didn't and this ask. thing with Nick, his car went up like a Sunday ham. He burned alive, you know. Girl? Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Um, no. Liam from the set. <laughs> I just got whiplash, whiplash from you that must conversation. Have put in a lot of leg work on that. Um, what do you think of it? Oh, uh, you read it. What do you think of the writing? Fine, fine. Of the reporting, <laughs> something that needed to be done. Many medicines are a bitter brew, but you still need to take them. That's nice of you to say. Good stuff. Don't hesitate to drop by the pharmacy sometime. Oh, and Sam, you... But for now, I have a feeling you're not here for us. Oh, oh, right. It's gonna be a stranger, Sam. Girl, what's your issue? I'm about to fight you, too. Confront button. Journal updated. Tara? Tara, the office administrator of Basswood Jungle, is a proverbial weird co-worker. She likes everyone and everything. Dinosaurs, romance novels, evangelical TV, conspiracy theories. Ooh, cool. Rice cookies, unusual street names, you name it. She talks about it for hours. Also, when your friend burns alive in a car, she'll, she'll talk about that too. Hugh Kirkland. Hugh is new in town, but it seems like he knows how to fit in. Then again, as the town pharmacist... Fitting in is part of his job. Still, it's decent of him to come to Nick's wake. Yes, very much. Kathy, uh... Sam, you actually came. Um, condolences? I know you two haven't been together for a long time, but I'm still sorry. We hadn't been close in years, but he was my daughter's father. Don't miss him. Joan was really hurt when you left town. Nick and I were never close after the breakup, and Joan's never had a lot of friends. Yeah. Um. Maybe don't break her heart this time when you leave town. All right? All right. Do my best. Hard to make promises. I don't do well with those in Joan. I've noticed. Thanks. But I'll try. Sam, I'm gonna hold you to that. Okay. Mind Palace.
Okay. Hello? Oh! You're a lot like Pac-Man, Sam. I consume everything in my path. You find every last bite. The mine closing wasn't your fault. Your investigation just hurried things up. You probably say some lies, you know. Hi, Dad. Hi, Muley. You piece of Language. Is that a wedding ring? I didn't know you were thinking about marriage. Oh, it's just... It feels like the right thing to do. Dad, what's the point of getting married? Well, it's just one of those things people do, Bug. Here, you can play. Someone has to show you grown-ups. Video games are the realm of the young. Have you talked to Anna about this? Not Pac-Man. That's kind of the point. I'll talk to her about it when I show her the ring. If you say so. Hey, Grow out your hair first. Here, right? If you need anything. Anything but my arcade secrets. Those I'll take to the grave. That's like right before he tried to propose, I think. He was wearing the same sweater? Sorry we lost touch. Sorry I lost touch. Rust up, big guy. Dang, Nick. This photo always looked weird. Nick could never keep a straight face. <laughs> it does look kind of weird. Nick, why do you have to die? Nick with my ex. Happier times. Excuse me? We drove straight to the sea after work on a Friday. Hell of a weekend. Hmm. Nick and Kathy. How do I get that? Bug was so small back then. Aw, baby bug. Those two were a great team. Look at us. Look at us. He was more her best friend than a dad. Is that everything? Samuel, guess I lost the bet. Bet? Yeah, that bet you'd never come back to Basswood. Oh, gosh. Not after you went careening out of town like a bat out of hell the instant that article broke bad. You're going to have a problem. Um, well, who's the bet with? Okay, I'll bite. Tell me, Dennis, who did you have a standing bet with? Myself. So I guess I also won. Mm. What are you even doing here, No Dennis? friends. You and Nick become friends or something? Nope. He thought I was a drunk, which I am. And I thought he was a hack, which he was. This coming from the IT guy. Didn't know resetting passwords could give you a journalism degree. It can. But it does give me less patience for people who sling mud my way. Relax. I'm just playing. At least tell me how you've been. Your your looks do not match your gross personality. Um I don't know. We'll be a little vulnerable. See what he gives us. If he's still rude, he's dead. He's dead to me. If you must know, I still haven't bounced back from when Anna and I broke up. Oh, that's a little I too little too she honest. Broke up with you? Yeah, but I hear you. Yeah, that's how I ended up in this shit town, chasing a woman. Yeah, then she left and I got stuck here with two kids. Stuck here? Anyway, cheers to Nick. A man that, unlike us, people actually liked. Cheers. Speaking of which... My ex. Is that her? Ah, my bangs. As time draws near, my
Why do I think he's attractive? I <laughs> Here we go again. You was dead. Let's see, we have some new faces. Q is new in town. Okay, we read that one. This guy, Dennis. Dennis is the Ike T guy at the paper I used to work for. I remember him as a bitter and mean-spirited guy. A loner with not many friends in Basswood. So am I, but it doesn't mean we're kindred spirits. And Kathy? Kathy and Nick married young and divorced quickly. I'm not sure she's ever really liked me, though it was their daughter though I was their daughter's godfather. Or maybe that just made things worse. Hey X. Anna. Sam! Whoa. You said no, remember? Can I be a little bit petty just once? She said no. I mean, I, I I can be a little mad. Sorry. Old habits. Uh huh. Watch yourself. Why did it take so long for you to darken my doorstep? Darken your doorstep. Um, hurts to come back. I won't lie, it really hurt coming back. I stopped by Lookout Point on the way here. Sam, why'd you do that to yourself? desire to open old wounds. The old timers gave me hell when I came in too. People around here have short tempers. And long memories. But most of them mean well. Sam, the mine was gonna close anyways. Maybe in a year or two, five, if the Lord has a sense of humor. It was gonna run dry or have an even bigger disaster. It wasn't your fault. Okay. I know. Yeah. I mean, I understand that. It doesn't make it easier, though. It's got to make it a little easier. When my father lost his legs, nobody knew the mine wasn't following regulations. You were the only one who started asking questions. Whenever people talk about you, he always says, you did the right thing. Yeah, well, your dad's Joe. He's an oak, unmoving and annoyingly supportive. <laughs> It wasn't just him. Nick thought your piece was great. He was actually jealous. He always wanted to write something that shook the pillars of heaven, as he used to put it. Why are you talking you know, about my friend? Like, you're so close. Nick and I had moved in together. Whoa! It to get serious. But I think it's only now I realize how much I cared for him. I'm, uh, you know what? I'm moving out. I never should have come here. I, 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 I just changed my whole mind. Oh my god. You and Nick started going out? When did this happen? I, I changed A my whole mind ago. on everybody. He never told you? <laughs> he asked me to let him be the one to say something. You two had been so close. He probably tried. I hadn't been answering his calls. Ah. <laughs> That's the worst part, right? Anything broken just stays broken now. I really don't like her now. That's but dirty. This, That's so dirty. This was all nice. The funeral, the wake. Walter did a good job. But it all just makes me feel heavy. It makes my heart hurt. Yeah, good. Like I'm out of here. I'm gonna head out. Right on top of me, and I'm still carrying him. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just be rude. Was he murdered? Nick's death. Do you know if he had any enemies working on anything dangerous? Whew. Now this. Tyler is Oakley, mind horror. your business. I know that. Do you? This isn't the time to be digging and pushing. You always do this. Slap you her. Always Slap her. I get it. With I my just, friend. You. 
you're still you, huh? You'll always still be you, Sam. I hope you never change, but I can't handle this right now. I'm gonna go home. I hate that his stuff is all over my house. Well, go cry and about it. Drink and cry all night. Good. You do what you need to do. See you around. Die mad. <laughs> that made me so mad. You're dating my best friend? Oh, have a round with me. My God. I need a drink or two. Or three. And then I'll go. Who am I going over to? Where was he at? Journal updated. Asking Anna about Nick's death was insensitive, of course. I only realized that after the words came out of my mouth, still, I was going to have to ask eventually. Uh-huh. Let her cry about it. Who is I going to? Who are you? Mr. Hitz, good to see you. My condolences for your friend. Coming Thank back you. in town must not have been easy. Officer Stevenson was telling me about your little welcoming committee. It's all right. Declan saved the day. We just don't want any trouble. By buying them not free drinks? You, not from anyone. Don't worry, I won't stay in town long enough for that. Um, they're cops, of course I'm gonna ask. One quick thing, Nick's death. Are you sure it was an accident? Are we sure? What are you trying to say? Now, Sam, I know you're a bird dog at heart and a bird dog hunts. But listen, what? Nick's death was an accident. Don't go riling people up. Don't you think you've done that enough to the nice folks around here? Excuse me? So. Enjoy your evening. What? This is what I get for trying to help these people? You know, this is how y'all betray me? Hope, chasing shadows this is how I get paid back for this town? You'd think a kid at a bar would stand out more. This is how it is, huh? I didn't know you read So tragic what happened to Nick. The details are horrible. I'm sure you'll tell they me all about didn't it. Die on impact. Instead, he roasted. Roasted to death. Lovely. Not enough to damage the bones, but you know, not a pretty sight. Lovely. Unless you're into that kind of thing, of course. I didn't mean to be rude, Sam. I'm into that kind of thing? You were. Well, you were, Tara. You can't talk about Nick like that. What did I say? It was only the truth. Poor Sam. Now that Nick is gone, everyone in town hates you. I mean, I don't. Why would I? It's not my job you destroyed. You're not the cause of all my problems. I mean, that's what you did for pretty much all of Basswood, but not to me. So, I don't hate you. Thanks for the confidence booster, Tara. I'll see you around. Someone needs to put this girl in check. She seems nice, but she gotta learn. She gotta learn. Hey guys. Hey Sam. Why don't you Whatever. I don't care. Other side of the bar? Um Drunk guy? People leave you or they die. That's okay, the he's you. he's already sad drunk. I'm out of here. Walter. Ethan. Anyone? Okay. So, Nick wasn't drunk, and me? I was drunk as a skunk. Ah, Samuel, 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 join us. We were just Walter. sharing stories about dear Nicholas. And let me get your next round. Maybe Ethan has a suggestion for a worthy spirit? Well, spirits? Oh, no, no. Friends drink beer. Yes, I suppose that's fitting. To dear Nicholas. Yeah, he'd been coming in a lot lately. That's cold hot chocolate. Sat right there. With a bad dad joke or two. <laughs> with friends, I guess. Maybe Anna. Oh, by himself with his laptop as his date. He never drank Sorry. alone. You two were close though, right? Tell me about the man outside the bar. He had a terrible memory. Couldn't remember names, dates, passwords. Kept his notes squirreled around him like a horde. Huh? Oh, we're talking about Nick. Um, he was a good dad, mostly. He had things I didn't, like my wife. He got married young and had a kid. 
then broke up and dated my ex. And they were happy, in love. Anna clearly cared about him a lot. Oh, my boy, you can't compare lives, just like you can't compare pain. I can when he took my off. life. The friend of man, the friend of truth. The friend I know, of I'm age, a little bitter about that now. I don't, really, I don't know if I care that much about Nick anymore. Like I'm gonna be honest. With virtue warmed, few hearts with knowledge so informed. If there's another world, he lives in bliss. If there is none, he made the best of this. What are Burns. you talking about? Where am I right now? Your eulogy? You know Robert Burns? And no, just something I keep on hand for toast. Oh, it's a good choice. And sorry about that, Sam. I wasn't trying to bring you down. Mm, whatever. Put that down! You can't be... What's your underage child doing drinking? You have no control over her? She drinking? Anything can lose I wasn't losses. doing anything! Don't touch me! Joan! Leave me alone. She was not drinking. Ugh, you guys are all so, so stupid. You I'm with not you. talk to people that way. I'm with her. Let's go. You and me, Joan. Let's leave. I'm, I'm sorry, everyone. She's just so, so. Don't touch me. That was quite heavy handed. I hope the little one doesn't take it to heart. Um, Declan was harsh. I'll shoot Joan. At, oh, I thought it said just I'll shoot Joan. Like, what? They're both harsh, but Declan needed to chill grabbing her like that. Declan sure came at her with both barrels. Joan's tough, though. She'll be okay. Oh boy. Let's calm down with that. He didn't even finish that one. What? Uh, Jeez, nice. Louise. I'd say that went well. Ish. You got to chat with everyone you've been avoiding. Even if Joan got inside your head with her whole dad mystery death thing. Just shut up. Coming back to Basswood was your idea. You're the one in the driver's seat, Sam. I can't make you do anything. Deep down, you've been looking for a reason to come back. <sighs> it's gonna be one of those long nights inside your head, huh? I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't ask you to be here. Okay. Hey, I didn't, I didn't ask for you to be here. That's Come straight back. up Tyler Oakley. I'm, I'm dead. You just showed up. You can't see it now, but the guilt would have eaten you alive. You're back out in the world. Feeling emotions, fitting in. That's progress. Fuck the world. Pointless talking and more talking. And no one says what they mean. Go away. Let me enjoy being miserable. Just try and make sure you don't do anything stupid no promises 